Well, good afternoon. And here today at the Rusty Glove Box, I've got something I want to show you. What actually happened was yesterday, and uh, my wife had ran over a snake, and she had called me on the phone, and she wanted to know where Grubbin Hoe was. She ran over this snake, and I said, well, wait a minute. What kind of snake did you run over? You know, I thought she ran over it with a car, and she didn't kill it with that. She plans on hacking it up with that grubbing hoe. So, you know, I thought, eh, you better leave it alone. But anyway, uh, what she had ran over, she says, oh, I ran over this red and yellow snake. And I says, oh, are you sure you ran over red and yellow? Are you sure it wasn't a red and black? She said, no, 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 it's, it's red and yellow, red and yellow. I says, well, you better leave that snake alone. I said, that's a pretty poisonous snake. And uh, so anyway, uh, I had to do some other stuff before I got home, and it was about, I don't know, seven or a little later by the time I got back. And anyway, we went out there and we went and looked at that snake, and sure enough, it was a coral snake. And that, you know, that's supposed to be a pretty uh, poisonous snake, and that's only about the, I think, the third snake in two years that we've seen around here. So anyway, I guess. Uh, Stranger things could happen, but uh, I've only seen a coral snake like twice. So anyway, let's take a look. Well, I took the liberties of uh, printing something off of the internet and uh, so I could kind of give you a little information about this. They call this a Texas coral snake. Now they also say that this snake also uh, can be found in Louisiana, Arkansas, and parts of northeastern Mexico. So I am kind of assuming if you found it in any of those other locations, it would adopt that state's like Arkansas uh, coral snake, you know. So I think uh, where you find it must have a lot to do with what name you call it. But anyway, it says that it is a uh, very poisonous snake. It is kin to the cobra snake, and its uh, venom is a neurotoxin, which affects the respiratory and the nervous system, and it more or less paralyzes whatever gets bit by it. Um, this snake is 29 inches long. I don't know if you can see that. But it says an adult coral snake measures 50 to 75 centimeters, which is 20 to 30 inches in length. It says the record measurement was 120 centimeters, which is 48 inches. Uh, it says it is a very timid snake. Most likely it will do whatever it needs to to avoid you. Uh, it likes to hide under uh, rocks, boards, things like that. Uh, it's an egg layer, and it mainly lays its eggs in June and July. Um, it's been pretty wet around here this last week, so I, I think maybe that's why that snake was probably looking for a little drier ground. So. Anyway, this is only about the second coral snake I've ever seen. So I thought I'd just share it with y'all. Uh, like if you notice, it's got the red and yellow. So like the old saying, red and yellow kills a fella. If you find the red and black, that's supposed to be a king snake. And the old saying with that, red and yellow kills a fella, red and black jump back. Anyway, this rusty glove box just want to urge y'all to watch out. Uh, you, everybody's going to be out in the yard digging in the flower beds, cleaning up brush piles, first one thing and another. So be sure and watch out. What you're grabbing is a stick and not a snake by the tail. So anyway, y'all be careful. This is Rusty Glove Box. Thanks for watching, and I'm out of here.